name is Jacob. I'm also called Israel. I got that name when I wrestled the angel. See, we'd been wrestling all night long, and I had a, a really good grip on that angel. And then the sun started to come up. That angel reached out, and he touched my hip and knocked it right out of the socket. And, oh, the pain. It was terrible. I let out a screen that would just make your hair curl. Jacob? Jacob? Oh, Jacob, where are you? Speaking of screams, that would be my wife, Leah. She's a mother to six of my sons and to my lovely daughter, Dinah. I have 12 sons in all, but Joseph, he is my favorite son. He is the oldest son to my favorite wife, Rachel. May she rest in peace. Jacob, oh, Jacob, where are you? Well, sounds like I better be going, but sit back and enjoy as we tell you the story of my son Joseph, the dreamer of God. Who could imagine the will of God in a man determined to tell the future of men through his mighty dreams, no traitor or merchant can sell. He holds God's favor, his faith won't waver, he is a dreamer of God. Will 
give this coat to Joseph. Fact, Leah, I will prove it to you. Benjamin, come here, son. Oh, uh, yes, Father, what is it? Benjamin, do you mind if I give this coat to your brother Joseph? Eh, why should I care? There, Leah, are you satisfied? Oh, I'm so impressed. What else was Benjamin going to say? Jacob, I warn you, this is going to come down on your head someday. That is what you think. Diane. Yes? How many more days before my boys get back from taking care of the sheep? They should be home in seven days. Are you going to give the coat to Joseph when they get home? Yes, I am. Trouble, trouble, trouble! Hey, Judah, instead of going clear up the mountain, what do you say we just stay in the valley? I don't know, Reuben. You know that Dad told both me and you to take the sheep up on the mountain because the valley's already been overgrazed. Oh, I know what Dad said, but he hasn't seen the valley. Besides, it's supposed to rain, and the grass will grow back really quick. You know, I think Reuben's right. We could go down to the valley and get two days off. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you, I don't think Dad would ever know. Hey, it doesn't matter that Dad wouldn't know. He, he told us to go up the mountain, and that's what we're going to do. Oh, come on, Joseph. Hey, Joseph! Why don't you go home? You're such a baby! I am not a baby. I'm 17 years old. Dad told us to go up the mountain. That's what we should do. Robert, you've got to get rid of Joseph. Because he's going to tell Dad what we're going to do. I know. Yeah, it's a car is right. Reuben, you've got to do something with the kid. I, I know, I know. You guys are right. I'll come up with something. Oh, Joseph. Hey, Joseph. You're right. We're going to take the flock over the mountain, just like Dad said. But I need you to go home and tell Dad it'll probably take a couple of more days since we have to take the sheep higher up the mountain where the grass is before we can come home. I don't know. Do you promise that's what you're really going to do? <laughs> Cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. <laughs> All right. Reuben, you mean we're really going to take the sheep to the mountain? Shh, shh, Pastor. Don't be a fool. I just got us a few more days off.
and that they're going to be gone for an extra couple of days. I thought you said this would be a long story. Well, oh, Dad, they said that they're going to go up the mountain, but I know that they're going to stay in the valley. Even though I told them that was wrong. That's why they sent me back home. Joseph, are you sure about this? I don't think Reuben would disobey me. He said you would never find out. Well, I'm sure it will probably be okay. Besides, I'll talk to Reuben when he gets home. And I've got something I would like to give to you. Joseph, because you are the oldest son of my favorite wife, Rachel. May she rest in peace. May she rest in peace. And have never disappointed me, I would like to give you this coat. Oh, wow. Benjamin, look at this coat. Isn't this amazing? Yeah, it sure is. It's the neatest coat I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Thanks, Dad. It's incredible. Yeah, enough with the mushy stuff. It's time to get to bed. It's getting yeah. late. Yeah, okay. Well, good night, Dad. Good night. good night, son. Dad, thank you. This coat is amazing. Pleasant dreams, Joseph. sheaves of grain when my sheaves stood up and all of yours gathered around and bowed down to it. <laughs> what kind of ridiculous dream is that? Will you actually rule us? Do you intend to rule over us? Well, ooh la la. I'd like to know, like to know who he thinks he is, Mr. High and Mighty. Just because Dad gave him that new coat all of a sudden, he thinks he's in charge. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, forget it, guys. You'll get what's coming to him. Besides, he's just a kid. Ah, uh, let's get some shut-eye. It's been a long day. Good idea. Morning. 
Where's Joseph? Oh, he's probably still asleep, having to finish his latest dream. <laughs> Dan, what are you talking about? Look, I know he's your favorite son and all, but just because he had a dream, he thinks he's gonna rule over all of us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not happening. I can tell you this, Dad. He is never gonna rule over me. Hey, look, the dreamer's getting up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dreamer, did you have another dream last night? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did. Ooh. Oh, wait, jo Joseph, would you tell me about your dream? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. tell us. Oh, uh, Benjamin, uh, I'll, I don't think I should right now, but maybe later. Maybe not, not now. Joseph, I used to have some pretty interesting uh, dreams when uh, I was uh, young. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'll bet that you really would like to tell us all about your dream, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. 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 Okay, Dad, so in my dream, I saw the sun and the moon and 11 stars. Oh, that would be us. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. And, and then they, they all gathered around me and bowed down to me. What? <laughs> what kind of a crazy dream is that? You think that your mother and I and your brothers are all gonna come and bow down before you? Dad, if you hadn't given him this fancy coat, he wouldn't be dreaming like this. And that's exactly yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Enough of this. You boys have got sheep to take care of. I'm sick and fed up that annoying pup who's got me fuming. Those crazy dreams he plots and schemes, I am assuming. He's lighting the old bell free, and the father just can't say gee whiz. Boom, boom, ba da da dum, boom, boom, boom. My question stands today, oh well now, who does he think he is? Boom, boom, ba da da dum, boom, boom, boom. That crazy coat that rocked the boat that got us started. Through all the fuss, the love for us, it has departed. We were told from day to day, while Joseph dreams away, what bliss. Boom, boom. Also, well, I've sent my sons over to check them with the sheep. I think I'll have Joseph go and check on them. Joseph, Joseph, come here, son. Yes, father. Joseph, did you know I've sent your brothers over to check them with the sheep? I want you to go over there and check and see if everything is going okay. Okay. Once you find out, I want you to come back here and tell me how they are doing. Okay and what they are doing. Uh, Understand? Yes, Father. Hey, Benjamin. Come here, son. Would you let me tell you about the time I wrestled the angel? Oh, again? Hey, look! How did Joseph find us here? Oh, man! He's going to tell Dad that we didn't go to Shechem. We'll be in trouble again because we came to Dotham instead. You know, I thought that Dad had never let him out of the house wearing that coat again. I just get sick every time I see it. <laughs> if it was up to me, there wouldn't be a Joseph. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Simeon, 
Do you know what you're saying? Yeah! I wish it was dead. Yeah, and so do I! Yeah, you can count me in! <laughs> hey, brothers! Brothers! I've got an idea. How about we kill him and throw him in the pit? All right, that's a good idea. idea. Whoa, 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 whoa! You can say a wild animal ate him. Yeah. And then we'll see what happens to those dreams again. No. <laughs> no, hey, don't kill him! I go ahead and throw him in this pit, but don't kill him. Hey, guys. Hey, um, what are you doing in Dotham? I uh, thought you were supposed to be in Shechem. Don't worry about that, Joseph. Bring that coat up here and yeah. show us how pretty that thing is. Okay, yeah, yeah. sure, Dan. Oh, man, I bet yeah. Dad yeah. loves you. Yeah. Yeah. you Isn't like it that. awesome, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it great? Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 yeah. slow down. Get slow. In. Yeah. Oh, whoa! there with his brothers all alone. I know they're not happy with him, but I believe they will take care of him. Yeah, I mean, I wish I could have gone with Joseph to see my brothers. I would have made sure nothing happened to him, and I would have taken all of them on and been the last one standing. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, little Ben, I'm, I'm sure you would have, son. I'm sure you would have, but yeah, I just have this feeling that Something is not right. It's, something's not quite right. Help! I'm afraid of the dark! Help! Benjamin, something is not right. 